we have some popcorn popping in there. Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I wanna to show you how to use this amazing lightweight popcorn popper. Stay tuned. To do this project, you're going to need a few items. First of all, you need an old flour sifter. And uh, still got the screen inside. Of course, many of you are familiar with this. And uh, you can get these really cheap at the secondhand store. The next item you're going to need is some sort of a lightweight backpacker's rack. And you can get these for baker's racks and all kinds of things. They don't weigh very much and they're fairly flat and easy to pack inside of your backpack. You're also going to want to get some popping corn. And this is just the kernel type. And also, depending on the size of your flour sifter, uh, you're going to want to get some sort of a measuring device. This is a quarter cup, uh, three tablespoons. We'll do the exact same. And it's probably a good idea if you go ahead and pre-measure it into a Ziploc bag, just like this. The next thing you might want to carry is some of these butter buds. And these are really great, taste good, made in the USA. And it uh, doesn't have any salt in there, but there's no fat, no cholesterol. It's lightweight, you don't have to carry it in this. You can always put it in a smaller Ziploc or a small shaker. The last thing you're going to need is a square of aluminum foil, and this is six inches by six inches. Now, you don't need any oil for this project. And the reason is that the oil is used in popping popcorn just to keep it from sticking to the pan and also to help it transfer heat evenly to the kernels. When your fire has burned down sufficiently to a nice bed of coals, go ahead and kind of even them out like this. And then you can put your rack right over top of the coals directly like this, or couple of sticks, larger chunks of wood that are roughly the same diameter, and you can just keep these legs folded in, and you can put it over top like that. Now this is important because you want it to be roughly about four to six inches up above the top of your popcorn popper. Once we have that accomplished, we're going to go ahead and pour our popcorn kernels into the bottom of the sifter, and then we sit on top of the coals and we take the aluminum foil and we cover the top just like this. And then we wait and let it pop. Now this is going to get really hot so you will want to use a glove or a pair of pliers or something to get this off of the coals and make sure that this lid is on there adequately. And after just a few moments, a nice bit of coals, we have some popcorn popping in there. Every once in a while, while it's popping, go ahead and shake it a little bit, keep the kernels at the bottom, and make sure you keep the crank here, this has got a little wooden knob on it, make sure you keep that up from the fire so that it doesn't burn it. And then when you get it off the fire, take just a little bit of time here, open it up, and there we have our delicious popcorn. All right, so we've got our popcorn done. Just take our butter buds and sprinkle a little bit on there. And then if you want to mix it a little bit, make sure, of course, this is cool enough to touch, but you can use the crank on the side, and you can kind of stir that around a little bit in there. Shake it up a little bit. Of course, you can put a little more popcorn in it if you wish, but you don't want to overpop the top. So about three tablespoons or a quarter cup is a really good measure. So before I try this, I just also want to tell you that if you're wondering how to carry this, your Stanley two-cup cook set will nest down inside of this. So it doesn't take up a whole lot of space, and this weighs just mere ounces. All right, let's try it. Mmm. This is great. It's a lightweight, easy to carry snack. For people on a diet, popcorn's always acceptable, of course. And uh, you can bring this into the back country, and uh, it's just no problem to cook multiple things of popcorn. I know you can buy the store-bought one-use pans, but again, it's one use and you throw it away and you got all that garbage to mess with. This, reusable a bunch of times, and uh, I just think it's a handy little trick when you're out in the back country. Mm. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft training classes here at our facility in Southern Ohio. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure to press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.